Okay, welcome to my tutorial on the 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube. Now, unlike the 3x3, three three, you can only turn this two ways, obviously. So, why don't we get started? Okay, so, unlike the 3x3, three three, there's only corner pieces. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pieces on this. No matter where you put them, they're always going to be in the corners. They can't go, there's no middle pieces, so... But, like the 3x3, three three, they're still the same sides. F for front, G for the bottom, U for the upper level, L for the left side, R for the right side, and B for the back side. Okay. So the first thing you want to do when you're solving the 2x2 two two is just like the 3x3 three three and make the first layer. So you can either have your layer on the top or the bottom. It doesn't really matter. I choose to put it on the top. It's just easier to see for me, but you can put it wherever you want. So now you can just line up white however you want it. Let's say you just put white like this and you solve the white side but these pieces aren't lined up so it's just fine if you want to solve one side but if you want to solve the whole thing this isn't gonna work so you need to get the pieces in the right place so basically you want your first layer looking like this you want all the pieces on the side lined up so that you can solve the rest of the cube now how do you do that well what you're going to do is start with one white corner piece and you should always start with that one. I like to start with the one that says Rubik's Cube, it's just easier to notice, but you can use any one that you want. So then you look at the colors on the cube. There's white, of course, and then there's yellow and orange. So we have to find a white piece that has orange on it. And there can only be two white pieces that have orange on it because there's only two pieces right there. So we look for the white and orange piece there we go and now we turn it towards where we want it to go so if we turn this piece up it's going to take this piece away so what I like to think of it as is you move this piece out of the way then you can bring it up and then you move this piece back let's just do that again if we move this piece up it's going to bring this one down, so we gotta move this out of the way, then we can bring it up, and we move it back down. Now, if you sorta did something like that, you're gonna have a 2 by one block. Now I need to find the other two pieces. So, what do you think goes here? White and green. You can just tell by that color. So we look for the white and green piece, there it is. So we turn it to where we want it to go, and then we can just line it up because there's no piece right there that we move out of the way. And then we just need the last piece. Now, the last piece, um, we know which one it is because there's only one white piece left. So, remember what we did for the other one? If we turn this up, we're going to push this out of the way. So, we move it out of the way, then we move it up, bring these back. So now if you did it right, you should have something like this. Okay, so now you solve the first layer, and you're ready to tackle the bottom layer. Now, it's a little bit harder than the first layer, but with a bit of practice you should get it. So, what I like to do, now, I don't know if other people do this, but I try to look for, so you see there's four corner pieces on the bottom, and I look for two corner pieces that are touching, and I know that doesn't make sense at first, but if you look there's this has this is the orange side right because there's two orange pieces right there so are the orange corner pieces touching no they're across from each other so we don't use those now we look for the yellow corner pieces are they touching yes they are so they're lined up right here but 
there on the other side of the cube, you just look, oh yeah, the yellow pieces are touching each other. So, when what I mean by touching each other is not like the colors are right beside each other. The corner pieces are just in a 2 by one together. So, now we look, are they in the right place? No, yellow, red is right here, and yellow, orange is right here. So we just need to switch those around. So, what we're going to do, we, you have to memorize one algorithm for this. It's right down, bottom left, right up, front right, bottom right, front left, right down, bottom right, right up, bottom, bottom. Okay, so now if you did that right, you should have swapped the corners. And you look, are these corners in place? Orange, green, orange, green, green, red, green, red. So we know that they're all in place. Now the next algorithm you're going to learn is called a three-corner flip. Now all it does is it takes three corners and just turns them counterclockwise. So yellow is right here, it would go right here, blue is right here, it would go right there, and the piece that you do it to, you always want to have it on the bottom right. So, I want to flip this, and what it does is it flips this one, this one, and this one. And the only one it doesn't affect, if you're looking at it, this face is the front, this face is the top, you're going to think that this piece doesn't get affected, the bottom left one. Any other corner does. So, let's memorize this. Right down, bottom left right up, bottom left, right down, bottom, bottom, right up, bottom, bottom. Now, if you did it all, you should have solved it, and there's only one other case I'll just get to in a little bit. Okay, so you look for two corner pieces that are touching, right? So you find red and red are in a two by one together, so you put them on the red side, and you look, red and green, that's in the wrong spot, yellow and red, that's in the wrong spot too. Now you flip it over, the orange corners, what if they're both switched too? You need to do what's called a diagonal swap. It takes this piece, puts it right there, and this piece, and puts it right there. So basically it flips two corners at once. So you can do it to any side really, it doesn't matter. So front, right, left, down, bottom, right, left, up, bottom, left, front, left, bottom, bottom. And now all your corners should be in the right spots. Okay, so if you followed that tutorial, you should have solved your 2 by 2 Rubik's